Chris, Lon Kruger decided that he was going to retire today. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I did. He, how, he was at Oklahoma for 35 years? No, 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 no. Uh, he, he was only at Oklahoma for, uh, let's oh, see. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, so he had a 45-year coaching career. Uh, he okay, was 45 he's, years he's been coaching. Yeah, Sorry, he he's, finished at Oklahoma. He's been at Oklahoma for I the last 10. Yeah, I knew he'd been there for a long time. I knew he wasn't there for the whole time. I, I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Okay, so it was 45, not 35. All right. You got it. He yeah, done, he's done years. this for a while now. I guess it's okay. I guess he's earned the right to hang it up and retire. Oh, most certainly. His son just got the head coaching job at UNLV. Uh, there you uh, go. Kevin Kruger. Um, so go he, move to Vegas, hang out, watch you your boy it. coach. That's, and and hang out fun. with the grandkids. That's what he said yeah. when he when he announced he was retiring. He said, I'm going to go hang out with my grandkids. Like, the, 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 you know what? We get, we should all hope for that life one day. You got that right. You've got that right. So here is how he started. He was an assistant at Pittsburgh State, an assistant at Kansas State. And then he took over the Texas Pan-American job. He coached at Kansas State for four years, coached at Florida for six years, coached at Illinois for four years, got the Atlanta Hawks job and coached there for three years. He was an assistant coach with the Knicks for one season, went back to UNLV for seven years, and then was at Oklahoma for the last 10. He made two Final Fours. He took five different programs to the NCAA tournament, and there are only two other coaches that have done that, and that would be Tubby Smith and Rick Pitino. Pretty crazy. If Tubby could have gotten Memphis there, he'd he'd be at six. Tubby was a long way from getting Memphis there, brother. He was. He was. Uh, He's at high point now, and, and... I think, you know, give him another year or so, and I no. think that he can have them there. No. So, well, a conference like that is is more uh, about the X's and O's and the coaching and what, and I, so I trust Tubby Smith So let me ask you this. How much coaching do you think he's doing? Because he was sleeping in Memphis. I mean, that's a good point. Well, it, it, his sleeping had to do with recruiting. No, no. He was on the, he was on the bench. Uh, that's true. Yeah. during games, man. That's a, that's a good point. I was shocked a, that he took another job after Memphis. Well, just high for points, the sheer fact that he just didn't like, seem like he had any fire in him at all. High Point is is where he graduated from. That's that's um, fine. That's fine. I'm just telling you that. Here's here's what Tubby did. Uh, let's see. Two years ago, he went 16 and 15 at High Point in his first season. Not bad. Then went nine and 23 last year. He went nine and 15 this year. So. Maybe maybe I'm incorrect about that. Going backwards? <laughs> He's definitely going backwards, going backwards here. So, going backwards? Yeah. Maybe that 16 and 15 was from the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, you might be Got right about that. A bunch of seniors. I'm going to bet there's not a lot of one and dones at high point. I'm going to I'm gonna bet there was a lot of seniors on that team that went 15 and 16 or 16 and 15. Let's see. The year before he, he got there. 500 in two years. Scott Cherry was the head coach before him. He went 14 and 16, 15 and 16, 21 and 11. 23 and 10. So Scott uh, Cherry has done what the, so what he did his first year to, as Tubby was exactly what Scott had been doing. Uh pretty much, pretty All much. Right. Yeah, that's I'll that's what it sounds statement. like. Tubby's asleep. So, but back back to Lon Kruger, um I mean just it, it, a fantastic fascinating career. He's participated in 17 NCAA tournaments. Um he made a final four with Florida. He made a final four in 2016 with Oklahoma. You remember the whole Buddy Hield thing and all of the college or college basketball media have been all over the fact that at Oklahoma, his practices were always open, always yep. open. And his reasoning for that, when people would ask, he said, "I got nothing to hide. I got I got nothing. Like you want to see what we're doing? You can come in and see it. We're not running trick plays here. Yeah, and they didn't have to. They were always well coached. They no, always they played, played, they played discipline. straight up basketball, and they just they just out effort you. They outworked you. Yeah." It's I, I'm I'm excited that he gets the opportunity to to go out the way that he wants to, and he gets no, to go that's and a hang. Good thing. You, yeah. you know the downside is is there'll be people say, well, he never really won the Pac-12 or the Big 12. Yeah, he didn't, but I mean, he just happened to be in a conference with a monster. That's a blue blood. Oh yeah, and there's you know there's nothing you can do with that. I mean, he, he won Big 12 Coach of the Year in 2014. Yeah. Um, he went to a Final Four. I mean, I. He, just because you don't win the conference in, in basketball, I don't know that it necessarily matters. You know, but hang on. The fact that he made a final four, it's a big deal, right? Oh, very much. So. Final four. so you don't have to win a championship, right? You can you can make it to a final four and say this is an amazing accomplishment for this school. <laughs> and, and wait a minute, yes. wait a minute. I didn't yes. I didn't I didn't think that's how the NCAA worked. I thought it was 
one champion, nothing else mattered. Um, no, no, okay. I, it's, okay. it's, just, there's, there's more I'm just to making, it. I'm just looking for some consistency because, because there's another sport where they only tell us if you can't win at all, you don't deserve to be there. So, um, it was the 2016 final four and in that final four, they were beaten by Villanova 95 to 51. Do you remember? Yeah, but you remember that, that was that. Yeah. Uh, uh, who was the point guard for Villanova? That was just unbelievable. Uh, it wasn't Suggs. What was the kid's name? It, well, yeah, I was um, about to say that was before Suggs. So, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm looking. Jalen Brunson. 2016? Brunson. Jalen Brunson. Yep. So, that would uh, that would be it. Jalen Brunson was the the kid. He was the one that, that really kind of took it over. Josh Hart was there. Um, Chris Jenkins, he's a forward. Like, they, Eric Paschal, uh, Phil Booth, Dante DiVincenzo, Ryan uh, Archidonacchio. Archie yeah, man, I've screwed that up so bad. Was that Nova's first championship or second? That was... That was uh, the first one, right? That was the first one. Yeah. That, I think that's the first one. Yep, that was the first one. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, Villanova, you know, it killed everybody that year, pretty much. Yes, they, so, they were the best team on the planet. Most certainly. And that was the year that they uh, they hit the game winner, buzzer beater against North Carolina, you know, all that mess. So, uh, but yeah. That, final, yeah. that championship game was, I mean, I still remember so much about it. That oh. was an unbelievable game. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, interesting point, and we'll talk about this with the Sweet 16 and whatnot. Syracuse made the Final Four that year as a 10 seed. <laughs> I, I remember that. I do remember that. Now they got smoked when they got to the final four, but they did make it. So. But they made it to the final four, man, as oh, yeah. a 10 seed. Exactly, which is just absurd. Absolutely that's absurd. That's what Syracuse does, man. So, of course, cheers to Lon Kruger on a fantastic career. We wish yeah. you the best. Enjoy your time with your grandkids good, and hanging out. Good life out. Li- uh, lived, yeah. so. You got that right. He's only 68 years old. He's still got a long time left. But Oh, yeah, no, and that's the nice thing is he's he's got – He's got time at the end of his life, hopefully, to to enjoy yes. these things that he wants to enjoy. You are correct about that. All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.